Okay, so in the first part of our two-part series on the making of Safaricom, we profiled Michael Joseph and what it took to build the most profitable company in the region. On the second part of Texpo, the making of Safaricom, current Chief Executive Bob Collimore spoke to KTN's Joy Doreen Bira on sustaining the company's profits five years after succeeding Michael Joseph. Listen in. I, my character is suited to building a company. Uh, and I believe I was not the right character, my character was not right for, for running a mature company. After Michael Joseph handed over to Bob Collimore, the pressure to deliver was high, with questions abounding as to whether he would fit in his predecessor's shoes. Safaricom got out of his cell and started the Nikon and Safaricom live countrywide concerts, Safaricom Marathon and Half Marathon. But Bob never took his eye from the ball, ensuring that he maintained the tradition of super profits. And in 2012, the firm unveiled in Shwari and began doing sustainability reporting. This report was the first to be launched by a telco in East Africa and was yet another feature on Bob Colomer's hat. I don't think that our actions are yet adequate. I think there's still quite a lot to be done. But if you, if you start to report on it, it means you have to measure it. And if you're measuring it, you manage it. In 2013, the company rolled out in limited data to its customers a decision that turned out to be one of the mistakes Bob Collimore made. And the reason for that is because like 5% of um, data users, not just of our own customers, data users, was using 70% of the capacity. And so everything started to, to collapse. And so very quickly we made the decision to say, uh, no more, we're not going to do it. As the company marks 15 years in Kenya this year, its competitors in the industry have openly argued that Safaricom's dominance in the market was a hindrance to competition. Some have even threatened to quit the Kenyan market if something is not done to rectify the situation. And, and even I remember the times when, I, when we launched 3G. You know, as soon as the, the regulator said, you've got $25 million for a 3G license, I was at the regulator and I gave them a check. My competitors, they waited two years. We spent $10 million on Impesa in our first year. Nobody made, made that investment. Even our competitors to this day have not made that investment. Do you respect my customers, $25 million? Uh, they have chosen to go with a, a company that does charge in some cases a slightly higher price, but they also understand the value that we bring to them as well as to society. Going forward, Bob Colomo and Michael Joseph still see Safaricom growing thanks to constant innovation, partnerships and collaborations. I'd like to leave the company in a slightly better position in terms of integrity within my companies. Um, I don't think that I'll ever be able to clean it up completely, but I'd like a company that really understands um, what values are. In its full year results for the year ended March 31st, 2015, Safaricom announced a 38% increase in net profit to 32 billion Kenya shillings. Joy Doreen Bira, Texpo, PTN.